What's happening, AC Nation? Hey, Zach Edwards here for another Tutorial Tuesday and Stump the Creator. It's funny, my, uh, I had my mom come watch the kids on, uh, while I was up in Alaska, and she is looking at me through my office window. Yeah, this is my home office I'm still at. We're, we're still trying to get that uh, office. And I think she's trying to contact me to, to talk to me, but hey, I'm in a video, so hey, sorry mom. Talk to you later. <laughs> Don't, that was rude. Don't do that. She's sticking her tongue at me, so I'm, I'm still not the only one that's been rude. <laughs> Anyways, yes. Okay, so this is from the uh, acclaimed uh, regional champion, even over me. Yes, that's right. He beat me at the regional championship this year. Trace SW. That's right. It is the Trace Master. He's the guy that got the card. He's the platinum uh, player. He's the only one that's reached the level in the national bracketing system to actually get his own card made. And the picture he, he got, I swear this is the, the best picture for him, he is decked out in armor. He is Caesar, all ripped, huge armor. You see all the, all the pecs and everything like that with Trace's face and glasses. And that was perfect. Caesar with glasses. Nice, very nice. So he asked this, these two cards double each other's infinite, infinitely, infinitely, uh, yes, until you choose another character to discard. At least that's what we gather. Is that how it works? Okay, and then there's a second question. Okay, so the questions are using Andrew Carnegie and Zach Edwards 3.0. Now, there's a reason why this is 3.0. This is the third version of Zach Edwards. If you haven't seen it, there's actually three versions. Actually, I think there's four versions of George Washington. Now, his versions were basically just the image being changed. We made the first one. It played a place because it was an illustration where he had I hated it. I didn't hate it. I disliked it. It wasn't the best. It wasn't like a Tannis does. A Tannis is my... I shouldn't say favorite... Uh, is one of our best illustrators. So I had to change his illustration. But I didn't get it to I gave it to someone else. And that one, the guy had his sword up, and it looked like his sword was curved, and all these different things were wrong. And I was like, no, no, no. Change it again. Change it again. I think we actually printed that one time. So if you can find that one, that's a rare card. When we discontinued that deck, though, and we were moving around all the cards from that deck that we wanted to keep and putting them in the new decks. The new ones were uh, Knights Templar, Bodicea, and Confucius. When we had those three cards made, we for, or for three decks made, we forgot to put George Washington in one of them. And George Washington, it's George Washington. He has to be in the game, right? You cannot leave George Washington out of a history game, especially one that's made in the United States. Wow, I'm going on a huge tangent. So going back to 3.0, HG 3.0, my card, the reason why mine is the third edition, same illustration, different abilities. Every time I get my new business card made, I put it to Facebook and I say, what should my abilities be this time? So now we're going to go to this question. Okay, choose, help an ally by canceling a card, uh, acting, attacking them. Okay, this is a instant and one-time use card. So I'm not quite sure about the double. So then it says, or double the effects of any card for your benefit. Double the effects of any card for your benefit. Here's, I think I know where this is going. I think I know where this is going. Where's Andrew Carnegie? Okay. My encyclopedia of all HD 2.0 cards. Uh, businessman, there we go. Andrew Carnegie, where are you? Here we go. Double the abilities of any card in your active area. He's a one-time use card. Zach Edwards is a one-time use card. So if I use this one and double the effects of any card for your benefit, doubling Andrew Carnegie, which says double the abilities of any card in your active area. Okay. Here's, so this, I would count this as a stump the creator. Trace, you think you can stump me? You can't do it. Not happening today. This ability can only be used once. If I use this on Andrew Carnegie, he cannot use it back on me. It can be used one time. 
It's like when you play a character on your battlefield. You can use that ability one time, unless it says infinite, one time. And then you can't use it again until you discard it and bring it back. Now, if you discarded this one, brought it back, the Andrew Carnegie ability has already been used, used one time. So, you use this card, it doubles Andrew Carnegie's. You discard this right away. Well, you've already used Andrew Carnegie's. You can't double it back on this one. It does not, it is not infinite. One time. Just one time, Trace. <laughs> so, yes, you can use this to double Andrew Carnegie, but Andrew Carnegie cannot be doubled again. Abilities, one time. After you use them, you lose them. So if you use this ability, cannot come back. Not an infinite loop. I'm just saying, not an infinite loop. And that's what HC 2.0, that's why it was so important. Because when a card says one time, it's used one time. Yeah. I, I, I didn't really go overboard. But it was one time. One time. I'll catch you next time on a Stump the Creator Tutorial Tuesday. <laughs> Have fun. Thanks so much, Trace, for giving me this, this uh, question. Not an infinite loop. One time. That's it. Goodbye. S Sayonara. Catch you later. Bye. If you have any comments or questions, add them to the comments below. Otherwise, we'll see you next, uh, we'll see you tomorrow, actually. Take care. Bye.